I'm Nat Borchers, and this is PTFC Driven, presented by Toyota. We are interviewing Thorns and Timbers players to talk about adversity in their soccer careers. Our guest in this installment is Portland Timbers center back and Costa Rican international Julio Cascante. Julio tells an incredible story about a housing issue he had while playing professional soccer in Costa Rica. Here's our chat with Julio. I'm curious, um, you know, in terms of difficult moments, if there is one uh, that we might be able to jump in and, and talk about that really kind of formed your, who you are today. Yeah, well, uh, I think you as a, as a person, first of all, you have like always stories that make you, make you grow up, you know, but it's the same in, in, in a career, like being a soccer player, you have a lot of things behind you that make you a better person, a better soccer player, make you appreciate what you have today, make you work harder for what you want, for what you want for you, for your family. So in this case, in my, I, for me, it's not an exception. I think um, I had like a couple of moments that that made me realize how hard it is being as a professional soccer player, but also how that made me uh, believe, believe in my, myself, believe in what I want in that moment for my, my mom and my dad. Mm-hmm. And, and well, and now I'm here. Now I'm here and I feel so grateful uh, with Portland Timbers, with the fans, with, I don't know, with my family because they still like supporting me and calling me, uh, you know, taking, making sure that I'm, I'm fine so they can be uh, happy. And, and I think one of those like bad moments, but good moments because they, well, it made me work harder to not go back, go back and live that moments again. Right. Was one time um, this team calls uh, Brujas FC and they were so uh, like they have like uh, facilities, they have uh, houses for people, for players that, that live like out of the city. So you just can go come and stay there. You have food and, and everything. But one day, um, because one or two reasons, and the team just disappeared. And then this new um, mister came and will start like a, a new team. And then because the, he doesn't have like that enough money to make like to have a house like the other team. Mm-hmm. Um, so he have to close that house. And then because we didn't have where to go to live. So he think that will send us to a locker room and stay, sleep there. It would be like a great idea. So yeah. <laughs> and well, <laughs> because well, we didn't first, because we love soccer. And then second week, because we didn't have where to live, we have to move to the locker room and then stay there. We just like literally wake up in the morning, jump from the bed and go to practice. Just like walk like a couple of steps and go to the field and practice. Yeah. Yeah. So it's so, funny. Well, today I can say it's funny, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. and we were just talking about, you know, our experiences playing. We both played in Norway. Um, and mm-hmm. uh, yeah, there's a level you expect, right? Uh, in terms of your resources. And so in this situation, you had an owner who left, the club disappeared, Brujas FC. Then mm-hmm. you had another owner come in and mm-hmm. uh, he wasn't able to provide you with the housing anymore. Exactly. So okay. then you, yeah. then you, uh, then he decided he wanted to let the players sleep in the locker rooms. Mm-hmm. And I, I can't, as a player, as a former player, I can't imagine how difficult that must have been. So when you got that news and the players got that news, what were you guys thinking? Well, yeah, in that moment, I, I just thought that I didn't want to come back to my to my town, to Limon, because 
I came from for one reason that was a uh, be a, a soccer uh, professional soccer player to make my dreams come true. And well, I want to just uh, believe in myself and keep going. It was really hard. Of course, you know, you were a soccer player and just the idea to live in a locker room is just like out of the out of the mind. But well, we were talking between our teammates and some of them actually they they start joking about that that we were living in the locker room. But well well and was was what well that's all that we have. That's all what we had in that moment. Mm-hmm. So, well, we just have to like and stay, stay there, and, and, and let's see what 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 what's happened next. You know. So you you end up sticking with the club. So you didn't decide to to leave. You said, "I'm going to stay with the club. I'm going to see mm-hmm. this out." How long was that situation where you had to sleep in the locker rooms? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> thankful. Uh, because one of my friends he helped me I told him like if I can go and stay with with him and his family mm-hmm. and they they were really really nice with me and they like literally um, let me stay at, at their place for well a couple of months literally because of course it's, it's not nice be a, in a home that's not your place and literally just you're not getting that enough money from the team and then staying at home, at one home that is not your home, mm-hmm. wasting like the food and everything, you know, is, is really hard. So after that, I tried to like move, try to, to find another team to make, maybe, maybe just like change my, my, my everything, my, my life and everything. And so I can say it was like uh, I don't know, three, four months until the, the season just finished. And then I moved to the to another team that, that definitely changed everything. I I have a contract that make uh, paid me more and reasonable. So it was like a oh, like a brief. A yeah. good brief, yeah. And then yeah, that, that team was uh, Universidad de Costa Rica, yes, uh, University of Costa Rica. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in that moment, that was the name. And yeah, that, they helped me too much, like a lot for now, for who I am right now. And who, how old were you at this moment? Okay, that was... was uh, 20? Yeah, I was 20. You're 20 years old, so. 20, 20, yeah. yeah. So you're, I mean, that was, you're 26 now, right? So six years ago. 20, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and you, obviously, I mean, you're a young player and you're having to deal with that stress, right, of trying to find yeah, a exactly. contract. You're, I think that as a player, you always want to be comfortable where you are because that brings mm-hmm. out your best soccer, right? Mm-hmm. And for you to do that when you're 20, to spend, you know, the, that those moments uh, with that club, and then to be able to progress to uh, Universidad, and then you obviously went to Saprissa, which is the biggest club in Costa Rica. Um, mm-hmm. were, are you able to look back on your experience with that that club when you were twenty and appreciate, you know, uh, what you have now, and 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 understand that you can get through a lot of difficult situations? Yeah, definitely. Uh, how I said at the beginning, uh, I really appreciate every bad or good thing that happened in my career in the past because that helped me to be who I am today or be where I am today. You know, uh, the bad moments at, uh, at that that team when I was living in the locker room, the good moments when I moved to, to the city to play with Saprissa, uh, the good moments when I just started here in Poland, everything, I think everything helps in one or different uh, situation to, to grow up, to, to 
realize how important is every little day at, at work at, at your team to to improve yourself and, and you know like keep 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 growing and i'm curious you were you were so young then when you were 20 to to go through that uh, experience did you have a, a mentor or somebody in your family that you were able to, to talk to that that kind of helped with your your mental uh, side of your of your game to to get you through that process well just mom and dad yeah mom and dad they always like all those bad and good moments they yeah, are being with me all the time and sometimes i didn't have money or like when i was living in the city and they even they they didn't have but they sent me what they have it was like i don't know like you can say twenty dollars in the in costa rica is like a, a little bit mm. so they helped me with twenty dollars and tried to help me and my dad always telling me hey, man yeah. be humble all the time be humble be humble uh, people appreciate that from you when you're humble don't don't you know you have you have a roof you know but keep growing up but always remember where you come from so that will um, that will take you to places that you you cannot imagine so i think they were like a good good parents i really appreciate them like every little word every single moment that i spend with them and well right now i can i can like see all those times that we will live together like like a bad moments mm -hmm. and i can say today well now i can help you guys i can i can bring you sometimes here to portland to enjoy what what i'm living to see what i'm living today that probably uh, is so different what we what we were living in the past so that that made me so so proud of myself so proud of my parents uh, and i feel so blessed you know? and it's an incredible story to to see you know how hard you worked to, to get to this point in time and, and what you've struggled through I, i'm just curious mm -hmm. if you had a, a young player in front of you right now um what would you what would you tell that young player that would be the most important thing uh, you know that, that you've learned from your experiences Ooh, a lot of things yeah <laughs> um, but yeah definitely believe in yourself believe in yourself believe if you think you are you are built for this for soccer just keep going yeah there will be people like telling you the opposite but well it's it's on you that depends on you if you want to to just let the people get into your head into your mind or if you want just take all the those bad words and just throw into the to the trash you know mm -hmm. and and definitely keep studying because that will help you in the future if you want to do something extra and don't forget where you come from mom and dad they always gonna be with you and your family i think that's that's a that's enough for for a young guy that wants to like and work harder for something that they want yeah uh, it's so it's so well said uh, and man, your, your English has been on point today. Julio. I, I really appreciate you, you joining me. And I think a lot of um, folks are going to get uh, inspired by your story. So thank you so much for sharing. And no, no. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here today. Uh, it's a pleasure for me. Uh, I know it's my English is like, so, so, but well, I'm still working and, and I'm so glad that you called me and give me this chance to to enjoy and, and have a little fun time yeah well and stay safe and uh, stay healthy and we can't wait to see you back on the pitch i think all the the supporters uh can't wait for that day and uh you just stay safe and and uh stay fit my friend we'll talk to you soon <laughs> thank you thank you man. awesome see you